So I talked about the modern diagnosis of reflux disease, and that's important because not all uh, heartburn presentations represent reflux disease. So we have many tests available right now, and uh, the main takeaway is that in patients with unproven GERD who have never had previous documentation of GERD, the testing that is performed, esophageal physiologic testing, has to be off medicine. It is only in patients who have proven GERD that uh, testing is done with a pH impedance study on medication. I also talked about the role of neurometrics that are up and coming in evaluation of esophageal reflux burden and in the use of uh, high-resolution manometry to define some of the pathophysiologic features of reflux disease. So not all heartburn is reflux, and therefore if patients don't respond to a therapeutic trial of acid suppression and if they don't have abnormalities on an endoscopy, it will be important to perform ambulatory pH testing, which will allow uh, a decision to be made regarding continuation of PPI versus discontinuation of PPI and some other management approach. I think it's important to think uh, about reflux as a condition that patients are very anxious about. And it's important to reassure them that this is not necessarily a dangerous condition. Not everybody develops esophageal cancer. And that medicines that we use to treat reflux in the right setting are generally safe. Mm -hmm.